Hello everyone, this is Miss Diz coming at you with a new vlog. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you stay up to date with all the news coming from Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line. Disney has given us a little update about Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. We haven't learned more about the construction that is going on for this private island that is set to open this summer, but we did get more of a preview of what all the characters, uh, Mickey and Minnie's friends, Daisy, Donald, uh, Goofy, and Chippendale will be wearing when they are on this new private island with Disney Cruise Line. So let's take a look at these new outfits that we have been given a glimpse of. Here are our favorite friends and they are at Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point and they are in their special outfits here. They are quite cute. If you do remember, we did see Mickey and Minnie in these uh, Bahamian themed actual outfits. They're inspired by obviously the culture of the island and the Junkanoo kind of aspect of the uh, Bahamas culture, the music, and you can see Minnie and Minnie in the center there um, posing with one another and Minnie has that green bow um, and Mickey is wearing kind of these nice green shorts. Now this time in this photo they are looking like they're in front of those private cabanas and you can see Daisy there and Donald holding hands, um, Goofy there um, on the right, there is uh, Pluto there, and then there is Chip and Dale. I'm sure these outfits are also inspired by the culture of the island and the Bahamas. So let's go read more about what they actually um, told us at Disney Parks blog about these outfits and obviously the designer who was inspired by his own culture to create these outfits. So here it says, acclaimed Bahamian fashion designer Theodore Elliott created these adorable looks which showcased the vibrant spirit of the beloved Bahamian tradition junk anew. So not only are Mickey and Minnie's outfits inspired by this but the gang as a total which I guess we could have probably assumed. So it says Theodore designed all eight looks with a traditional junk anew style in mind including eye-catching details like fringe. Can you spot it in Goofy's vest? Uh, let's look at that right here. Oh, uh, yeah, I actually can spot it. If you look very closely uh, at his red vest, it does look like there is fringe involved, like Mickey's Mouse's conch shell shorts. Oh, yeah, I did forget those are conch shell shorts he's wearing there. See that design on um, Mickey's shorts. Then there's Minnie Mouse's pineapple purse. Let's look at that too. See, she has a pineapple purse there. And then it does say the Bahamian Island inspiration also makes these vacation looks especially bright. Check out the ocean waves and sun rays in Donald Duck and Chippa Dale's look. Theodore does say, I envision creating a collection that not only highlighted Bahamian culture, but one that also allowed Mickey and his pals to look and feel as though they were comfortable on vacation island style. Junkanoo Fun in the Sun is an exclusive lineup of all things Bahamian, celebrating the beauty of the Bahamas, all tailored to match the varying personalities of Mickey and his pals. Match Mickey and Minnie's Mouse Raffia accessories, the natural Bahamian straw handiwork is woven into these outfits with straw visors, oversized beach hats, and bucket hats on Donald and Daisy Duck, Goofy and Chip and Dale. The adorable raffia palms on the dresses, shoes, hat brims, and shoulder straps are also a nod to this traditional Bahamian craft. Now, can we take a moment for Daisy Duck's hat and Goofy's socks? Pluto looks vacation ready with his daper collar. And it does say here to learn more about Theodore Elliott and his inspiration for these fabulous outfits. Take a look at this video. This is not a new video actually on the last reveal of Mickey and Minnie's outfits uh, for Lookout Key. They did publish this video and if you are interested in it, please go check it out on YouTube or the Disney Parks blog. Now going back to the actual photo of all the characters here, I really do love these bright colors. I feel like they will match Lookout Key 
quite a lot. Um, if you do recall from my last videos, uh, the private cabanas, the top of them, the roofs actually are quite colorful and they kind of match these colors of the character outfits. So I really think they're trying to tie in all this together. All the coloring is going to match at Lookout Key, obviously, and it's all going to flow. The only thing is, I'm not really used to seeing the characters with these big hats. Um, you can see Daisy has quite a big hat, and I kind of wonder how they're going to keep that hat on Daisy on this private island, especially when it is windy. I guess it will be placed properly and um, made sure not to fall off. The same thing for Chip and Dale's hats and Goofy. Um, I'm sure, like I said, this is Disney. They know what they're doing, but there's a lot of hat work that I'm not actually used to seeing on the characters. Not that I don't like it. I do find it really nice. What are your thoughts on these complete outfits of the characters? Uh, like I said, we were only able to see Mickey and Minnie's uh, outfits for Lookout Key. Now we get the whole group together. Do you think they match? Do you think they go? Do you think they're keeping with the style of the Bahamas? Let me know in the comments section down below. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Miss Dis channel so you don't miss any of my updates from Walt Disney World or Disney Cruise Line.